I said to my fellow Salotas, it is I, Chaos, and welcome to Our Savior Reborn Re Recorn Cult. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Our Savior Recorn Culted, the sequel to the original Our Savior, which you played a few weeks ago, I believe. Maybe almost three weeks ago, that's right. It's been a while. However, already I'm very impressed by this. It looks amazing, and oh my god, this is probably the award winner for Best Dave Microwave's theme song on the menu screen. Just. So yes, this is a sequel to Our Savior slash the remake, whatever the hell they're going to call it. I'm pretty sure it's a sequel with extra characters, more levels, a different level design entirely. There's a lot of stuff to it and I'm looking forward to playing it. So we're going to jump in and see what's what. Uh, it's available on both Itch.io and Patreon, I believe. So you guys are going to pick up for yourself. Uh, definitely check the description below. I'll try and put the links that are required there. Definitely do check them out. Challenges, eh? Oh God. There's seven of those. So you've got Classic Swamp, Classic Field, Classic uh, Ch Chopper's Brigade, Great Battle Hunt, Mighty Storm Approaches, Frost Farm, Midnight Farm. Okay. Uh, what's Arcade Mood doing? Oh. So you can like. Oh, okay. So you can like unlock certain factors and you can like make it harder for yourself. And there's things that you need to unlock as well. Oh. So I'm guessing if I do this, I will have like the basic, like the same feeling of playing the original our savior i imagine got yonder rugus and bubushu <laughs> aka pumpkin man and got yonder's farm and nothing else okay i'm gonna play with all characters enabled for now i'm gonna see how this plays in comparison to the original um our savior and or if i get anything unlocked for it and oh my god already it looks like it's literally a remake at this point oh god I promise you that's not all it is. Uh, this is just the first level. Oh my god, the frame rate is beautiful and the game looks amazing too. So that's why I'm rescue all your friends before it's too late. <laughs> I must admit, it gives me a bit of PTSD playing this again, considering the hell I had to go through on the previous game. But um, I'm sure there's some more improvements here besides just the visuals. Obviously the detail is like stunning. Ooh, sound effects. Nice. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's a gate. Uh, left to interact. Oh, okay, so I gotta hold it. Or just wait, sorry. Cool, okay. And that's me in there. It's a friend over there. It's a bit easy to see. Um, what I've noticed is that there isn't as much of like a pixely effect anymore. Which I think the original game had. Like, if uh, you were looking long distant, the game would sort of like, um, it would start pixelizing everything in your view. And the game itself seemed to have a filter anyways. But now it's a bit clearer and everybody says help right from the start. So it's a bit easier to tell. Which I think is a very nice addition. Because it helps you to recognize where they are much quicker. Which, for a game that has a lot of content in it, in comparison to the original Our Savior. Um, yeah, I think that's like a, a very... Oh, for God's sake, and you haven't changed. The goddamn bear traps. But no, I think for a game that has more content in it, it's probably best that you just give people as easy a time as possible. So they have a reason to check it all out, because, uh... You obviously don't scare people off by a game that doesn't seem to promise- OH JESUS CHRIST! <laughs> I embraced my true padre then with that sentence. Now, you're still fairly slow. Right. Now, my concern is... Am I still gonna have the same issue regarding the very narrow, um hallways. It looks like I would, but thankfully there isn't anyone around right now, so that's always a bonus. I mean, the better graphics already, and uh, like the loss of that pixel effect, already makes this so much easier to navigate. Like, I have an idea where I'm going more, and I can kind of also like look to the future and see where I'm heading, if that makes sense. So already, in like... I have a better understanding of like where I am and what's coming after me. All right, am I missing one more? Uh, that one would be in the barn, I believe, back there. So if I grab them, we should be all good. I've only seen uh, the dog so far. I haven't seen Yonder or Bubushu, as he is called. So I wonder where they've gone off to. Maybe for like a party somewhere. Is he in here? Oh, yeah, he is. Cool. Boom. All right, that's all of them. Now, I'm just going to get to the exit. 
and a scap, eh? We should be good. Okay, this. Oh, well, there's you under. That's okay, don't have to worry about you because we're about to get the hell out of here. Boom! Did it! You and your friends survived the night at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. There you go. <laughs> no, okay. So, that was essentially just a remake of the original one, which is cute. Oh, yeah, and I forgot the title screen changes every time you like reload into it. Cute little detail. Do we have anything else to use yet? We don't know. Okay, so I imagine I gotta play through the challenges then to unlock some of these. So, uh, I want to imagine these are all different levels. Boiling Swamp, Filthy Fields, Filthy Fields again, Boiling Swamp, Yonder's Farm, Yonder's Farm, Yonder's Farm. Okay. So I guess arcade mode is like essentially a custom night, I guess? Where you could like choose what level to play on and what characters are active? I guess so. But it appears in order to unlock said characters, we were required to play the challenges, so... Sorry, really, really bad time to drink water when I'm in the middle of a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, classic swamp. Didn't take long to get captured again, did it? You and your friends are now trapped in the boiling swamp, with you being their only hope. Enemies are Yonder, Rugus, and Bubbashu. The weather effect is none. Uh, the map is the boiling swamp, and difficulty is easy. Unlocks the boiling swamp. Okay, yeah, so you unlock characters and... Uh, effects and stuff by doing these. Okay. Probably should have read that first. It would have been a bit better, but I yeah, got to play the original um, Our Savior again, so I can't really argue with it. Right. And already, um, I'm liking the look of this. Again, the big issue I had with the original Our Savior is that sometimes the, uh, the very narrow corridors in the original game was what caused you to die a lot of times because it made it so you could get cornered a lot. But already, I'm liking the wider level design, because now I can run- Oh, Jesus. Well, I don't like those, that was an invisible wall and I had no- <laughs> Oh, it's fine. It's- it'll be, um, it'll be experiment- experience, I guess. Now I know it's an invisible wall, so I just gotta make sure I don't walk in the same direction again, and we should all be good. So my question is, how big is this map? And is Babashu gonna sit around the corner again? He's not. Okay, so... The AI doesn't seem to follow a set path. Oh god, hello. Oh, you've actually got, like, proper voice lines. I can actually understand what the hell you're saying now. Oh, and I can unlock them while on the move still. I like that. That's a nice little touch. Oh, piss. Ow. Uh -oh. Okay, <laughs> that was bad. Anything in here? What's that? Oh! I can grab some dinimite. What, what can I do with that? Well, I guess I found what it does. Uh, <laughs> creates a big explosion. And probably some property damage, uh, which I will not be paying for because I do not have the funds for it. Oh, sorry, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Oh, God, they're all here. <laughs> they all worked it. Maybe it's like a signal or something. Well, actually, wait, hang on. Um, if I recall, I think I remember Dave saying there was like a flare of some form in this game that you can stun enemy with, enemies with. Maybe that's it? I don't know, I'm just guessing at this point, but you know, it makes sense. I guess I can actually just kill somebody with that, which would probably make the game a lot easier, but I doubt I'll be able to do that. Alright. What the hell is that? Oh god. That's not like a different character. Oh god, hello, there's Bubba Shoe. Oh no, no, no. I don't know, Bubba Shoe's the, the pumpkin dude. That's like a Bushka or something like that. That's a Russian. Okay. Well, I've got five of them so far, and I've literally been doing so by running around aimlessly. Oh god, there's a gate there. Oh, Yonder's still after me. God, okay, we're going over here then. It's just literally Yonder. Everyone else has given up, but Yonder's like, Oh, no, 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 no. You almost torched my fields, mate. I ain't letting you go. Absolutely not. Uh, oh god. Yeah, where are those other two... Lad's hiding out. There's uh, Bushka, whatever his name is. This takes me back to the start, so it's probably not over here. Could you just seriously piss off? Come on. <laughs> We've been playing this cat and mouse game for like two minutes now. Just want to find my friends and get the hell out of here. Is that so much to ask? Oh, hello. Ah. I got clipped on the trees and got slowed down. Right. Maybe I need to tackle this game with an element of stealth. 
Yeah, maybe I need to be slow with this and actually <laughs> consider what I'm doing and how it affects the area I'm in. Yes, I should do this with my brain. It's like the last place I've checked. Let's go take a look. Oh, this looks promising. Ow! As we were. Yeah, yeah, he's got to be in here somewhere. There you go. All right, and some dinamite as well. Okay. Now it's going to get back to the exit, which is on the side over here, I believe. Whereabouts? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, no. Like this, you son of a god! Oh god, I didn't Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, I didn't, I didn't see. <laughs> I could have thought, I swore Yonder was a little bit further away than what he actually was. I thought he was a little bit further back, but no, I turned the corner, he's right there in my face. He obviously didn't like me throwing dynamite just around like a goddamn crazy person. Uh, anyway, that is the classic swamp challenge. Okay, so that unlocks the boiling swamp map for us to choose in here, I believe. There you go. So, I guess it gives us like extra combinations of characters we could try out for fun of it. Okay. However, I want to keep playing some more maps. So, I think we'll play classic fields and we'll be done for today. So, after a frightful experience of the boiling swamp, you and your friends escaped the cold of corn and made your way to the filthy fields. Fortunately for you, y'all got caught in another one of Yonder's traps and must escape once again. <laughs> Great. So it's like, it's just a constant loop of what just happened happened again. Get yourself out of it. Again. So Yonder, Rugus, and Bubble show the characters again. There's no weather effect. We're in the filthy fields this time. The difficulty's hard. Okay. Uh, pardon me. I'm in a very burpy mood today. Ooh. Is this the... No, it's a different map. Okay. This is an entirely new place. Right. Oh, I'm intrigued to see what's in here. Anything? Nope. Just, uh, <laughs> just a random ass table and a bunch of uh, bunch of bookshelves that have nothing on them. The, the true horror stick right there, ladies and gentlemen. What is that sound? Is it coming inside this giant manor? Uh, oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, oh, he's there. <laughs> I thought I could like pick up a bear trap then. That would have been quite interesting. There's a bed here, only for one. Oh, there's a gun. I think that's for a uh, farmer. Oh, I don't know what it's called. It's the one that Harvey voices, I believe. Imagine it's probably him. Okay. Now I'll go through here. Oh god, it's more like narrow corridors and stuff. Ow! And that's a bear trap. All right. So there's still. Oh, okay. This is the exit, right? Let's go back again then. So the narrow the narrow corridors are still a little bit spooky, but I feel with a bigger map, maybe we could avoid it. Again, giving more room for like the characters to walk around in anyway should hopefully mean they're not always like in the same position as each other. Unless I'm uh, unfortunate enough to lead them all in the same location. I don't know. Let's go this way. Well, it's a little bit spooky as well. Because uh, some of these characters are probably shorter than the cornfield, so... Oh! <laughs> Get your ass over here, boy! Just throws a bit of dynamite at him. So wait, did that kill him? Or... I, I have no idea. Is Yonder gone for good? If so, I probably could have used it on someone else. I, I think Yondo is probably one of the easier characters to deal with. Again, because he's like very tall and very easy to see. But uh, maybe you just like reset him for a while. I don't know. Oh! Yeah, that's why I probably should have uh, used, used it on another character. Because uh, that happens and that's very, very bad. Anyway, point taken. Now we learn. Sparkly, here you go. So yeah, the sparkling sound effect is like a, an indicator where your friends are as well, which I like about this. Giving more cues about where they could be. Very, very helpful. I need to wait for my nose quickly. Hope no one is chasing me. Okay. We were fine. Oh, there's a bear trap. Can I... Yeah, I can still remove them. Cool. Nice. Nice. And there's another sparkly. Another friend in sight. Another friend saved. I think I hear the dog. Oh, no, cheer. Eh! I committed a murder most foul. 
Yeah, I'm just going in that direction. Okay, anything right over here? Ow! Size my broken shins! Yo, this is promising. Ah, and it is promising! Friend detector pulls off. Okay, now I just gotta get right back to the start again. Which also means I have to remember where the start is. Okay, so if I go this way, should lead me in the right direction. There's, there's like a left path somewhere here, right? I think. Oh no, he's back. Okay, so they respawn. But this is the exit, it doesn't matter. Oh god! Go, 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 go. Oh, that was so close. Oh, but Jesus, we did it. Okay, you completed the classic fields challenge and locked the filthy fields. Wonderful. I don't want to play that map again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, well, that's two challenges down on the uh, the game of Our Savior Reborn, uh, Re Recorn Cultid. Sorry, I keep getting the name wrong. Okay, so next up is Carper's Brigade. Yonder's friendly neighborhood carpenters already uh, got out for you. If he spots you, he'll alert Yonder of your location. Seems simple enough, right? But what if there were three Yonders? So, okay, Carper's in this, and there are three Yonders roaming around the filthy fields. And apparently it's easy? Uh, I don't really know. I mean, I guess Yonder's easy to see in that map, so I guess that makes up for it. But, um, yeah, that, that locks Carper as a character, so we get someone else. And Chumbo is in the next one. S seven Chumbo! Jesus Christ. Okay, I want to end the video here, and then we'll come back to it at a later point to play some more of it. Because, honestly, I, I think this is, like, the... Definitive version to play our savior and I say it because like it's essentially a remake of the original game on top of being a game With even more content. So if you guys want to play our savior Play recon culted just right off the bat because you get the original game in there with re like remade graphics looks amazing There's so much more control you have in the situation and you've got more stuff you can do more characters more maps challenges Yeah, uh, basically I'm really enjoying this game so far. I will be back to play some more of it So look forward to that very very soon uh, but yeah, till ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed. I have been Chaos, you've been Storm for Lawrence, as you always are. Until the time, remember to do the usual, uh, like if you enjoyed the video, just like if you didn't. Subscribe if you don't want to see more. Maybe go follow me on Twitter for updates and stuff, because in case you don't know me by now, inconsistency is my quality. I've also got my Twitch description below, where I try to stream two or three days a week. Definitely go check it out, uh, we stream a bunch and it's fun. I've also got a Patreon down below, where you can throw $1 to $3 a month for me, and get your name credited in my Patreon list, which you'll see at the end of my streams, as well as my YouTube videos, very, very shortly. And it just goes to show that you are a supporter of the channel and are a very awesome individual for doing so. Because that money is very much appreciated, even though never required. But most importantly, of all things, ladies and gentlemen, take care, everybody. Sayonara!